Hello guys again. Once again, we're going to talk about some very attractive and very popular on all kinds of levels gambits and attacks. Uh, it's called Max Lang attack. Uh, what is very interesting about the Max Lang attack is that it can arise from six different uh, variations after e4, e5. It can arise after Petrov defense, after center gambit, two knights opening, our bishop's opening, most common order uh, scotch gambit, and it can arise from Juco piano. So six different possibilities to reach the position that is right here on the board. What can I tell you about this one? Um, it's one of those uh, additional variations to this course that is going to make this course way more attractive. Uh, also, with full of spectacular sacrifices, um, unbelievable uh, mating threats and uh, mating patterns, as well as uh, lots of uh, tactical opportunities for both sides. Although, even though it gives pretty good chances for both sides, I just have to say that According to latest theory, uh, white is considered to be better in this Max Lang attack. Uh, so, fasten your seat belts and let's fly. How does it appear? After e4, e5, since the subject of this course is the bishop's opening, well, we're just going to have it after bishop c4. So, just like you see, uh, after bishop c4, it can arise when they play knight f6. By the way, you know how many times I told you uh, this knight f6 is the most common approach by black. Uh, but let's be honest, you're just going to have like half games with knight f6 and you should have like half, half number of games with knight c6. After knight f6, uh, max lang attack appears when you play d4. It takes d4 and when you play knight f3. In previous chapter, I showed you how to play against Oras of Gambit Accepted, which appears when they take an e4 here. But the real problem could be what happens when they simply play knight c6. Knight c6 is objectively speaking one of the most critical variations here. You just go with a short castle, and when you go with short castle, they go bishop c5. Once again, I'd like to mention, knight e4 would lead to the scotch gambit, an opening that is beyond the scope of this opening repertoire at this course, and you just have to find other authors uh, on Chessable and to find their material. Who knows, one day, maybe I'm just gonna come up with something here as well. Max Lang appears after bishop c5, and this is where we have to stop and take a look at this position. Black is about to complete his development with short castle, and he's the one who defends very stubbornly this pawn on d4. So we can call it in the same, you know, like at the same time, max lang attack, and that's the real name, but at the same time, this is a bit of a gambit as well because you just sack the pawn on d4. Uh, 